Hello! Hi guys! I was checking if my day is locked. Welcome! Welcome to my channel. My name is Maya, Ugandan lifestyle blogger, YouTuber, everything. <laughs> yeah, so um, I hope you guys are doing great. If it's your first time here, thank you for coming. Thank you! And if you've come here before, I see you. <laughs> thank you for the love. Anyway, in one of my last videos, I was talking about um, like different things so i said i would do a sit down so i thought i'd do a sit down and small chit chat so you can get your tea i have hot water i just barely take tea um currently i'm in china guangzhou i think if you follow me on social media you must be doing this and i've been here for a couple of days i leave at the end of the week today is monday so i'm hoping this video will be up tomorrow i hope uh, I just wanted to reflect and do the year is coming to an end so I don't know how many videos I'm going to have up excuse the mess at the back so I wanted to reflect on how this year has gone talk about a few things that I've seen and noticed and maybe I don't know if it will be of help to you I hope so but if it's not I hope it's entertaining <laughs> yeah um, first I need to say I really like to write down things I, I had planned this video and I was going to be home so I had my notebooks with me. Guys, I write, I collect notebooks. I start a new notebook every year on my birthday. I talked about that on, on my Instagram. And I write all things down. From ideas for my blog, for ideas for clothes that I want to, in my head that I want to tailor everything, my travel. So beginning of this year, I wrote down, you know, the usual, this gold keep fit which i haven't um, take care of myself bring like own my power back travel first i'll start with the travel i wrote so many things down i wish i had the notebooks but i don't so let's just talk through it the power of writing things down i have mentioned this in a video before it's um for me it's amazing because i keep on looking back i have i collect notebooks all my notebooks for the, like, the past six years i still have them um my first goal usually is be better than i was the year before or even the day before the minute before be a better person because my own competition is me and that's working great for me great because um I'm not on anyone's face but mine, what I can handle to myself. So in travel, I wrote down so many countries. <laughs> you wouldn't even believe it. I wrote, I prayed for it, tried to work for it, but I wrote down the US, I wrote um, China, I wrote South Africa, I wrote um, uh, the coast. I really want to go to the coast. So I wasn't able to go to, but the China I had no clue, no idea, nothing. I like I, I was thinking, I, like, I want to go, I really want to go for for to see, explore, and also to see if I can business, get a few things and stuff like that. But I had no idea where the money was gonna come from, you guys, no clue. Yeah, and. I also put do different businesses, venture out into different businesses and I still had no clue which business but I knew I wanted to do something more, bring in more income. I have a child so, and I like nice things <laughs> so I have to you know take care of myself and all those things. So the whole year and the US, Cape Town, I really want to go to Cape Town, I haven't gone to Cape Town, the year is, is ending hopefully sometime soon. God listens, you guys. <laughs> the same thing I said in the other video. If you're praying to God, ask. Oh, no. I recorded this video and I deleted it. Yeah, sorry. Um, so I thought I'd uploaded it. I was saying, if you're praying to God, ask, you guys. Ask. Don't insult God. He can give you any and everything. Do your best, of course. I believe you do your part. You try to work, put some savings aside, and then pray. Pray to God and do that stuff. It will. Don't go like, oh, I love to travel, but this, I want to expand my business, I want to start a business. Like, do put in the work, yes, but ask God. Don't ask for small, small, you know. 
<laughs> Ask, he'll give you what he says is best for you. If it didn't come now, then it's not good for you or it's coming later. So for my travel, I wrote that, but I had no ticket money, no shopping money, nothing. <laughs> but somehow things just fell in place. I went to India this year, I went to the US and I'm in China at the moment. Alhamdulillah for everything. But um, things just at uh, India, I do some research, so I, that was work as well. The US, I work on pleasure, and so we, and then China, there's a, play, um, a professor in MOOC that I was organizing that organized this trip. So we had a group of 10 people, some students, some um, staff, and all that. So it's been great. I was so biased, by the way, about this place, but um, I love it. Love it. Not more than New York, but love it. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so that, the power of writing things down, it's like a reminder, it reminds you of things you've been, you want to do, you can write, you can want to do something and you completely forget about it, but when you go through, you know, all that stuff, when you go through your notebooks or your board, your, I don't know, I'm forgetting that board that people usually do, you look back and you're like, yo, I haven't achieved this, I need to work on that, so I feel like the power of writing things down and work for me work for me at least it's a constant reminder of the things you need to achieve so you don't really forget so if you think of something just write it down an idea of a youtube video write it down where you want to travel write it down somehow you know i believe in the power of the tongue you ask you put down the universe shall give you god shall be number two on reflection of this year i i feel like I feel very liberated most this year. Like at the moment, for the last couple of months, I feel like like a free bird. I don't know why, but um, it's a great feeling. I'm very grateful for that. And I've asked God for this. I'm not exactly where I want to be because I'm still very confused in certain things. But I'm feeling, I don't know if, if how, if I make sense, feeling, um, very very liberated and happy and you know yeah i'm grateful for so many things so and i believe everything happens for a reason i think that's what makes my life so easy i don't really take things too seriously like i'm not like eh that's not serious or whatever but then i just if something happens if i have no control over it that's it if i can change it which brings me to my other point, my third point, this reflection video is um, if you don't like something and you have the power to change it, you do that. Like let's don't complain about this and that and that. Do that, change it, yeah? We all have the, we have the power. We have, no one is going to make you happy. No one is going to have your best interest apart from you, you know? So if you don't like something, then change it. Do something about it. Huh? I'm hungry. I haven't had breakfast. It's 144 p.m. No lunch. So if you don't like something, change it. It can be work. It can be a relationship with your children. Um, relationship with yourself, with your friends, with um anything relationship with your partner if you don't like it work on it if you feel like it's not you um your friendships talk about it work about, work on it yeah i feel a relationship with your daughter son children is not good work on it if it's not working for you except for the children and all those things like if that but just do what works for you simple put yourself first in everything and the last one is compromise, you know. I think my last point. Let me see. Sorry, one second. I'm checking my phone because I note down things. Oh, oh yeah. Um, bringing me back to my fourth point, which is um, compromise friendships and everything. Personally, I believe everything. Um, need the you need to put in work in things in anything as small as mm, 
as small as losing weight maybe <laughs> anything i feel like you have to put in the work which applies to friendships relationships everything needs work if you don't put in the work i don't i believe it's not going to work so um and then some point where it comes to like relationships and friendships we put where there's like two parties it can even be business yes business i actually hear business that's the the other party is putting in more work than the other party does you know it's it you do it and if it's not working the other person needs to step up their game i have seen this with friendships especially it's it's sad that the other person is like eh, whatever works for them but for me i believe my my for my friendships to work and flourish and the day i need to put in the time someday i'll just pass but i haven't brought some here in a long time and my other friends were supposed to do videos here but we haven't but i hope hopefully this next year we'll do like sit down videos but i've always wanted to do for like the past three years with my friends and sisters and i haven't either i'm being lazy or but i've told them about it um yeah so you need to put in the work it's not working tell us what we're going to move <laughs> you guys like things and they don't be by force how do nigerians say they go no be by force something yeah but they don't if it's not working for you move away um those are my four points four three points that i've been reflecting on oh last one is social media and influencing and um how the influencer industry is i keep on seeing um people in nairobi kenyans oh they're doing so great and even us ugandans we're doing so great okay one thing that i know is failing us is the internet another thing that's failing us is us ourselves as ugandans as maybe even influencers i don't know because we need each other to everyone is like oh the industry is not building it's not but it, i feel like it's getting better but we need to be out there and go like i need to support anyway for me how it works for me what i think is what you give is what you get if you support another person somehow even if that person doesn't support you god will pay you back and you'll get support somewhere somehow so us as influencers we need to stop because i've been with certain people who can do so many good things for ugandan influencers and they don't but they do for other influencers in the other countries and i'm thinking there's very many good influencers here there's so many bloggers here so why the hell are you skipping these guys just very annoying why why would you it's like oh even other people actually let's leave my influencers because we i think the ones that i know really try to help but there's some that it's like dude you know anyway i'm not i'm not i'm not angry and trying to like say oh why don't you support me no if you like someone's content you do but it's just um a small okay, small thing like watch the video of someone that you enjoy like comment like you know i don't know that's my thing it's why the people are saying the industry is not growing my my i feel like it's us that's not making the industry grow you know it might be me it might be you but we just need to do better not even 2019 like starting now and if you're watching this video now just go support your sister support your boy support your ugandan girl like we need to stop and it's not even just influencing you know it's i've seen it everywhere you go you're talking you're having like small chit chat with someone else and or maybe you someone's looking for a photographer yeah someone might hey good okay there's i don't know they'll think of a kenyan or tanzanian or south african photographer before they think of a Ghana photographer which is so wrong because there's so many good people with good good amazing work here it can work so i feel like all us ugandans we need to like step our game up in everything by the way because we need to support our own first and don't no one should come here and tell me no there's no good people in uganda they're there they're there, they're there. I I'm, I'm getting quite frustrated now but they're there we need to like do that it's just recently i saw <laughs> imagine you 
I don't want to get um, so much backlash of this video but I recently saw this busy season this year this month actually there was an event and there's so many good Ugandan MCs and there was no Ugandan MC on the agenda maybe I didn't know I'm not gonna say which event but I was thinking there's Didan there's um, Tracy there's all these people why okay at least make a blend blend it and put a gun on there so I, there's Judy Theana like there's so many people so many good Ugandan MCs why aren't you getting one of them to add them to to the list you know of the of the MCs but to bring people from out yes bring people from outside I understand reach the other you know I totally understand but try and put a gun in there even if it's for two minutes like represent your own but for the influencers out there you guys I know the struggle but it's going to get better trust me trust me I'm very optimistic anyway I've always been optimistic with this thing but another thing we need to do better as us bloggers youtubers we really need to step up our work ethic we need to because people are already not taking us seriously yeah and then we are giving them a reason not to take us seriously so it's we also need to step up again first imagine you go to an event okay. you go to an event and there's influencers invited and all of us are, on, are not on time there's somebody, excuse me. Oh my gosh. Yes? Sorry. Anyway, I was saying us influencers need to do better. Our work ethic, we need to up our game as well. Like, and also build like um, one, a strong front. Is that the word? Something like that. So we need to do better and, you know. I need, they need to come, my room needs to get clean so I have to run and cut this video real short yeah so I hope, <laughs> I hope I have not ranted too hard and oh this cute top is going to be available in my gallery it's so pretty <laughs> look at that anyway um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and Feel free to leave a few comments and let me know what you think, especially about the rant that I've just had, which was not a part of it wasn't in my plan, but you know, forgive me. And let me know what you think. What do you think us as influencers and bloggers and YouTubers are lacking? What should we do better? What um yeah, to like make ourselves, you know. Of course, try to create great content and blah, 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 blah. But us as people, what do we need to do to, you know, make ourselves better and all that good stuff. And then, um, what do you guys think about writing down things? Has it worked for you? Do you, what do you, how do you go about your, like, things? Do you believe in the power of the tank or what you say? And all this yeah, so, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and see you next time. Bye bye. If I don't see you, oh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. If I don't have a video up before Christmas. Thank you for watching. You must see yourself from the evil. Give yourself some peace. You must see